Hey guys, this is Ranchin here bringing another video. I'm not shaving as usual, but that's uh, okay because I can do this. And scratching your scruffiness is almost as good as scratching your balls. And we all know how good that is. So, um, right. Uh, this is basically a little, not really an announcement video, but more of an update video kind of thing. MSL's over, not much stuff going on, so I'm going to be Let's Playing, but what the primal factor is right now, what this video is all about, is the fact uh, that I have a system for my reviews now. I've figured out a system of how I want to do them. I have a rating system for my reviews. I'm going to be doing them much more regularly now have several reviews planned and I have a system, you know, but it's different. Um, for one thing, I don't, I'm sick of the whole systems based on tens or fives. You, you know, you got the you, system based on tens, sometimes they're nine, five, ten, nine, eight, five, but sometimes they're like any number from zero to ten. So you got games that get 9.7, and 8.1, and it's all very arbitrary, and I never get them. It's like, okay, how do you distinguish between a game that should get 8.5 and a game that should get 8.4? I don't understand it. I don't get it. I don't know where they get it from, so I'm just sitting there being all confused. I don't understand. So, yeah. I feel games that are on 5, they're the same thing, only less. Usually, sometimes you get, like, games that... One, two, three, four, five, and sometimes it feels a little limited to me. But, but they change that by going three point five, four point five, blah, blah, blah. and this is, then becomes the same thing as you know the system based around ten. So I'm gonna base my review system around my favorite number, which is seven. I don't know why it's my favorite number. It's not particularly. Maybe it's a lucky number. I don't think it's particularly a lucky number. It's a number I enjoy for no real particular reason. I think it's a number lots of people enjoy for no real particular reason. Some people really don't enjoy 13, for instance, for no real particular reason other than that. No, 13 is a lucky number. It's bad for you. Bullshit. But anyway, I have, I'm have. i going to have my system based around 7. With 4 being the average thing, with 7 being awesome, and 1 being crap. Uh, but I'm not gonna have it like seven, five, four. This game gets a five. <laughs> it's not gonna be like that. Still have this thing, by the way, because <laughs> carpal tunnel is your friend. No. Uh, game carefully, folks. Game carefully. Yes. And don't do this too much. So get laid instead. Anyway, um. I could just continue jumping jokes in there sexually forever, but I, there's a whole point with this video, so I'm going to keep it up. Um, yeah, I'm going to have this system based around seven, and what I'm going to do instead, I'm going to have like a quote or a couple of words to, instead of a number. And I have them kind of, for the most part, figured out, but I want your help anyway. I want you to give suggestions, I want you to give ideas. I already kind of have them all in my head, but if I get a really good idea, I don't mind changing things. Like, at least half of these things will probably stay the way they are just because I like them, but if I get a better idea than what I have in my head, feel free, put them down, and let me know. So anyway, I get, let me just yeah, run you through it. A game that gets a 4 in my book would be just an average Joe. An average Joe. John Smith, an average Joe. John, well, not John Doe, John Doe, some of this lost, but yeah, John Smith, or Ivan, or whatever. Um, John Smith, average Joe, four, random stuff. Then you go up to five, which would be better than average, scratching your balls, or scratching your ears, something like that. I, I need a good idea here. On five, that'd be perfect for a good idea. You folks. So five... Like scratching your balls. It's pretty good. It's not the best thing in the world. It's pretty good. Number six, on the level of Bach. Now, of all the classical musics out there, Bach to me is like, Bach is synonymous with awesome. Anybody that knows anything or even nothing about classical music, they hear Bach like, oh, I'm supposed to write very good music. Except for those people that are inept and like, classical music, what's that? You know, and then, otherwise, yeah, it's... On the level of Bach, I love Bach, 
So a six is Bach. Uh, and number seven would be better than a BJ. And this is probably the one I'm most least likely to change, but feel free, like better than a BJ. It could be a horrible sloppy BJ, that's like a low seven. And it could be like an awesome pro BJ from a woman that's given a hundred blowjobs. So she might be a little eh, but still it's awesome. Ah, you know, that's like high seven, yeah. And I'm not gonna like say low seven high, so I'm just gonna say seven. So that's better than a BJ. Basically something you would actually, if somebody offered you a blowjob, you would say, no thanks, I'm doing this because it's awesome. So there we go below four. The stuff at three would have below average. Like at first I had something along the lines of just meh, but instead I'm gonna replace it with something like, I'd rather take a nap or rather be napping. It's not, you know, I could, you know, like I could do this or I could just take a fucking nap. You know, it's it's not so bad, but you know, hey, I could just take a nap instead. It won't change anything. Number two, uh, this is actually hard. This is pretty bad, but it's not god awful. I mean, I I I rather do this than eat feces, for instance. I rather I rather do this, right? I ra I rather do this than hard labor at the gulag, you know, rather than being in a labor camp or go to prison. You know, I rather do this than any of those things. So, yeah. Uh, I had something in mind for this, but now it's blown. It's gone. Why? Why amnesia? Why do you do this to me? What the hell was it again? Uh... Yeah, just something like somebody's crap. Or, I had a freaking idea for this and I forgot what it was. I'll just cut it once I remember what it is. Okay, so after much thought, uh, I obviously need some help with number two since it's exited my mind. Uh, but it would be something along the lines of like, like working at the gul like working at a labor camp, like a labor camp or something like that. You know, it's I was just saying earlier, it's probably not as bad, but it could be as bad. It's not the most horrible thing in the world, but it's like, could be working at a camp, could be working at a labor camp. Might as well be constipated or. Not, not as bad, not as bad as passing stones, you know, something like that. I'll figure something out later, it's all from my mind right now. But the worst one, I had an idea for this, and the nuke kind of added to it and expanded on it a little bit. So, there, my original idea was worse than hemorrhoids. And hemorrhoids suck. So, instead, he added a little to it. So, fire ants chewing on hemorrhoids or something to that effect. I think I think that's pretty freaking bad. And I'm probably gonna stick to that, but again, feel free to give your ideas. First review is gonna come out soon enough. I'm also gonna continue my Let's Plays right now for those of you that have been wanting some more Super Robot Wars action, we'll finally get it. Um, I have no idea where StarCraft Brood Wars is going right now. Uh, the GSL, which is the uh, GOM TV Star League, has begun, and it's for StarCraft 2 exclusively on GOMTV.net, you gotta pay to watch that, uh, or the VODs anyway. Not all of them, but most of them. Um, so I don't know, Brood War seems like it's in, it, it's in its death throes. There are a lot of issues going on, we might not get another MSL, we might not even get another Pro League or OSL, I don't know what's gonna happen or what's going on, but we're gonna see very soon. Of course, for those of you guys that don't know yet, tune in to Nuke. Uh, for the OSL finals very soon, should be this weekend, uh, we got Flash versus Jadong facing off, so yet again those guys get to duke it out. After three straight MSLs, they finally face off against each other for the first time ever in an OSL, so it's going to be very exciting. But other than that, GG guys, ranching out. I hope you like this scruffy, possibly quite annoying video, and you'll, hear, you'll see more stuff from me pretty soon. GG guys, ranching out.